And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vi Aurelian Soul. Going to be our next donation deck. This one's from Sai Goomba here in chat who uh, took this deck to Master's Rank. It looks pretty good. We have like, these Death Rays, which do a great job of slowing down aggro decks. I'm, I'm a big fan of Death Ray, but Death Ray will kind of clog up your draws, right? Like it's it's awesome, like the MK1, MK2, MK3, like those are awesome and efficient spells. But of course they have to go back on top of your deck. And so it does make it uh, difficult to draw through the rest of your deck. So having really super powerful top end cards, like going Eclipse Dragon or Rillian Soul, um, is kind of necessary because this can take up like your whole early and mid game and then you just slam Eclipse Dragon, slam Aurelian Soul and you can just win from there with the Death Race taking care of the board. So I like that quite a bit and of course we have some other good invoke cards with like the Priestess and Star Shaping and things like that. Solari Sunforger also helping us out against Aggro. Um, Vi controlling the board because Vi does a great job with that control of the board, get us to the late game and some other good removal and filtering uh, besides that. We can make like ignitions and gems from the bot and the goat, and then we use Sketcher, Dredger to uh, discard those and get more value from them. So it looks pretty sweet. Triple Hush, cards are great these days. Pill Cascade, good, another good way to draw cards and a good combat trick that not everybody's playing around. And so it looks like we have a good solid deck. So let's go ahead and play uh, five games over in ranked with Vi Aurelian Soul. Okay, looks like we're playing against some Poros to start with. This could be a great matchup for Aurelian Soul's champion spell, honestly. Okay, I'm going to just keep one Death Ray instead of two. Definitely want to draw Aurelian Soul. But Vi will control the mid game. MK will control the early game. The thing is, is like if they... Doesn't look like they are. I was going to say, if they do this correctly... Like they, they should be playing like the Poros Snacks before playing Poros, for the most part. That's a sad Poro. Oh, that's not a good draw. That's not a good draw because that's again we're gonna just be we have a lot of cards. It's it's gonna be tough. Okay, well at least we're actually killing these things. They're letting us kill them. I was really worried about Poros Snacks. It was going to be tough to find Aurelian Soul. But we got some other good late game. Yes, they had Poro Snacks. They they really should have waited until round three and played Poro Snacks first and then play Poros. But it's worked out for me so far. I know poor Poros. Oh, I discarded Give It All. Give It All's cool. Just everything is lined up perfectly for us. They've kind of played into all of our cards so far. It's just been a slaughter of Poros. I don't like it. I like playing Poro decks. I feel bad for my opponent so far. So I want to turn on Nightfall. Like I. 
could have done the thermo for um, four there, but I want to turn on the nightfall for this eclipse dragon. I assume they're playing whatever portal they just drew. And I can shoot that and then play eclipse dragon. Killing the elusives. They can also grow from Poro Snacks much better than just this vanilla 2 3. Wow, that's powerful. Nightfall Eclipse Dragon is really underplayed. Like playing against Eclipse Dragon decks, they do not use Nightfall Eclipse Dragon nearly enough. If I go Infinite Mind Splitter, then whatever I target, they just block. surprise if we lose this game. We're gonna need like a bunch of like um Pora Aurora Porealis. There we go, Aurora Porealis. That kind of card and stuff like that. Everything lined up perfectly for us. Hey, <laughs> you're not wrong, Violet. You're not wrong. Targon can use a nerf. Just all of Celestials. Mm, Thresh Nasus. Another very good matchup for the Death Ray. I like this hand. Everything about it. We have the Ignition to discard for some treasure. Solari Priestess can help find us obliterate for their champions. And then we even have the Death Ray. See what we see. To stop half of a Decimate. Alright, Asher. Thanks for hanging out today. Have a good day at work. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Prime and ready. Oh, we weren't expecting callers. Okay, so it doesn't look like I need um, to play the Serpent yet. We'll just wait on that. I was hoping that would scare him. I don't know why I would. So they're getting their slay count up, but I'm not as scared of Nash Nasus with having Hush. I'm, a little, I'm more scared of Thresh. And so just got rid of some cards that uh Gonna find a gift for an Alright, right, we'll 
we'll gotta use these ignitions while we can. <laughs> And challenge with the three one. That's pretty greedy. Don't have to use the MK. We can just use that pill cascade. Save MK for the next big thing. Can you improve perfection? Yeah, you're not wrong. Nobody plays around pill cascade. <laughs> it's true, but um, there is still going to be. Okay, so we can either get a Vi or a Rillian Soul. It's cheaper. Um, Ridden Stars actually looks kind of good here. Traveler always looks good, though. I was really glad no Thresh last round. As long as there's no Thresh, I feel okay. I mean, Equinox would be good for the Curse Keeper, but you can kind of assume they're just gonna—they're about to just sacrifice this Curse Keeper. And here's where I paint my constellation. No. I could attack with the one two. Like I was thinking about attacking with the one two, but I guess you know this one one can still trade with the three one, and the one two can check the one one. Yep, 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 yep. And that's not worth a hush, right? Hush is too valuable against Nasus. Alright, now go and let's find a champion. I'll just do this right now before something weird happens. Does allow them to play another Nasus, I suppose. <clears throat> Okay. Cool. I guess that thing's only a 4 6. That's not killing Nasus. Poor job of invoking for NASA's removal. I cannot go. Is this what you think? Can I paint you? NASA's removal. But Cosmic Inspiration and Living Legends are both pretty awesome. I'll go with the Living Legends. I am superior life form. Can you improve perfection? Hmm. Should have gone with. Cosmic Inspiration. Join me if you want to live. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, Targon's not very fair. But I haven't, haven't exactly found another answer yet. 
the land obeys. No, I really want the nine mana obliterate. We didn't find it in either of those. Ugh, I guess the scourge. The nine mana double obliterate. This isn't over. Nasus plus atrocity is still super scary. Right, that thing's kind of weak. I really should have grabbed Cosmic Inspiration instead of this Living Legends. No, we're playing that thing. Alright, Scourge, finish it out. Yeah, I guess they got me, don't they? I couldn't find any... <laughs> none of these invoke cards, not a single invoke card dealt with Nasus. That's too bad. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh, the rest of these don't have Challenger, just only you. That's a pretty unfortunate loss. That I only had, you know, just had the one hush, but out of all the other cards that we had, I couldn't find a single other card to deal with the Nasus. That's really unfortunate. But that's what I was saying during that. It wasn't it wasn't over. So I need like priestess to get me a six mana obliterate or the new four mana card that I got. But oh well. Alright, Draven Jinx. So this we can mulligan the dragons. I couldn't keep Fi though. Fi is a good way to again try to control the board. Love Death Ray. Death Ray is always a great draw. Against these aggro decks. It gives you the efficient one mana kill a one one removal, but then we also have um, yeah, so we have that, which is great. But then we're also going to be drawing a two mana, you know, deal two, and then a three mana deal three. Very efficient spells. There we go, Arena Battlecaster. Perfect target. That worked out well. Um. I mean, like, I could play Solari Sunforger, but I can't actually heal my Nexus more than 20, so. 
maybe it doesn't make sense to play that yet. By playing the Sum Dredger, I get to have three spell mana, which is how much you need for an MK3. And, you know, I can still play Vi next round with the three spell mana. I am surprised they are attacking with that. Or just play that. They're gonna just let me challenge? That doesn't seem ideal. So saving this for the champions. card for sure. If I if I play the Sunforger, they should challenge the Sunforger. Like, if they do it correctly, they would challenge the Sunforger. And so then again, I don't heal my Nexus at all. So we can take some damage. Heal it back with Sunforger. We'll be fine. It's all about Jinx. It, but now, this Jinx would have 4 health. So Death Ray won't kill it. Back to 15. Where I want to be. I tried being polite. Freeze. Maybe this works. Hopefully it does. Wow, it worked. I was not expecting that to work. Is that last card a second jinx? Hopefully not. Ah, it's an augmented experimenter. Yep, that's good. I didn't have the mana to gem. Alright, well those are... Those were the best cards to have. Jinx, then an Augmented Experimenter. We'll see what they got after this. Okay, so they discarded a crowd favorite. That's the second Vision gone. Which is a little unfortunate. I like them drawing Vision. Like, Vision's not a very good card that's, you know, with not having units out. I'd like them to draw more Visions. Yeah, so I grabbed the 2-1 to challenge instead of the 1-1 one, one so that... Because otherwise, then the 2-1 would have traded with my Mountain Goat. So it forced them to trade their 3-2 away with the Mountain Goat. Can you improve perfection? Solari Priestess, you're so good. Oh, this is tough. Like, Meteor Shower would kill a Jinx, right? Like, if they have Jinx, and that's maybe more important. Or I go Written Stars, and we can, you know, go get, like, a really Soul or... But really, the only way they win this game is, like, Jinx, right? So I guess I need to take Meteor Shower just to kill Jinx. Oh, man, this is so tough. Yeah, I. While I'd love to grab a Ridden Stars, I think the the only possible way we lose this game is is a Jinx level up that does a lot. I don't think there's really any other way. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this meteor shower. How easy on the hands? They're new. So what do they got over there? They're Time for the main being cautious with something. 
Game's not bad. I'll again be able to heal five of this back, I guess six of it back with this Unforger next round. Can you improve perfection? The strength of the sun and my faith are one. I'm gonna discard this gem. And keep these ignitions going. <clears throat> yeah, turn it into a Ballistic Bot Burn deck. Like, who's the Burn deck now? And here's where I paint my constellation. Get some more card draw. Their plan has to involve Whirling Death. This has been the, this is their first Draven. Okay. All right, two and one. This deck has felt good. We're getting matched up against Poros again? <laughs> you really just keep playing against mirror matches. Or like decks of similar regions in this game. It really feels like it. We're getting Poros yet again. It's the same opponent? Okay. Well, my hand is much, much worse than it was last time, right? I am surprised they're still playing into the Death Ray. But unfortunately, no Death Ray this time. There's Death Ray. I guess I should be casting it right now. Before the snacks. get blown out by troll chant hopefully not cool and that gem's really important for the sump treasure whoa saucy meal meal with the raid welcome everybody from saucy stream we got two decks left for today we are finishing up uh, two more games here with this Vi Aurelian Soul list that's looked really good. We lost, kind of got an unlucky loss against Thresh Nasus that, you know, just eventually, um, that I I only found one answer for Nasus in a super long game, and they, they found their second Nasus plus Atrocity for over 20. You can't heal over 20. So that was one of our losses. I guess that was our only loss. And then we got a couple of wins besides that. The Saw Squad. I like it. I like it. I've been drinking tons and tons of water. I'm going and getting my second uh, COVID vaccine shot today. My poor Poro opponent keeps on playing these Poros before Poro snacks. Gotta play the Poro snacks first. Buff them up so they don't just die. I should probably be discarding a really soul, but your second shot wrecked you. That's what everybody says. So yeah, I've been drinking lots of water. I have two glasses of water here. <laughs> I've refilled a couple of times. I've been drinking lots of water. Um, one thing is a two three. That's kind of big. I 
So if you Equinox this thing, I'm just going to Serpent. No. Sad. This fight was going to do so much damage. Oh, wow. I also had a 40 degree temperature for three days after. So yeah, maybe maybe no stream tomorrow or the next day. We'll have to see. Hopefully, hopefully I'm doing okay. But yeah, that's what most everybody's to told me. They felt terrible after it. Except for my dad, for some reason. My dad said he felt just fine, like he went golfing the next day. So I don't know. Yeah, like that's a that's a big time temperature. That's a fever for sure. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Forge ahead. This isn't looking good. They got the Poro snacks this game. Isn't looking real good. I really hope they don't have another Poro Snacks um, in hand. Like, play something else. I think I just risk it though, because like if they do have the Poro snacks, it's just it get like I'm giving them like another turn to draw Poro snacks. Yeah, it's a person by person thing. Yeah, Nerf says that they got the second shot, got sick for the first time in years. Well, this could definitely go bad. Okay, Jack said his, his buddy felt fine, so yeah. Okay, and the Steeler was fine after both shots also. Yeah, I was, I was perfectly fine after the first one. Alright, looks like they got us. This this game, they had all the Poro snacks. But you, you kind of see the problem with Death Ray, right? Death Ray makes you run out of cards, which is a problem. Alright, I guess Solari Priest is... We need that to hit the six mana obliterate. I still have one more shot. The traveler could hit the six mana obliterate. It has a much lower chance to. I guess even just getting like the the life steal blocker would have worked. Hmm. Oh no. I can't be mad. Fun's doing cool Poro stuff. Can't be mad at that. Unfortunately, I know the top the top cards like the MK card. We need the top card to be a five mana fast speed damage spell. Alright, two and two. What's up, crazy? Thanks for the follow. Okay, two and two. Let's get this winning record. Let's finish out with a three two. For game number five, and then, all right, then we're gonna, I'm gonna need help from chat for the Aurelia Jarvan deck. That's a, a donation deck that um, looks pretty rough. Looks like it needs some fixing up first before we play it. So we're gonna do that. So if you like the deck building process and stuff, we're gonna be 
um, kind of switching that deck up quite a bit. So we got to figure out like how how are we going to put Aurelia and Jarvan together and have a good successful deck, and then we'll try it out. Then we'll play five games over there. All right, Vladimir Brom. Not a good uh, PNZ matchup kind of style, right? Like we don't want the PMZ removal. I like this hand. Um, so bot, bot, like bot's good. Yeah, I mean I can just I can just escape this. Like we don't have to be like super fast. We don't need like interaction right away. We don't need the PNZ removal cards because um, they'll like have their things survive. But we need do need large units, and bots with these ignitions can create some large units. And I think that Eclipse Dragon into a really soul could be really important. So I'm gonna keep that Eclipse Dragon. Spacey. Advent. Come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? One star's Lipsy is another spark. I was hoping for Equinox. That's what I was hoping. I would Equinox the Curator and not let them just create a whole bunch more Crimson units. There's just the one aftershock in the deck. It's it's hard to hard mulligan for a one of card. They're just being one of them in, in here. Hooray! That's big. That's not a good card. So we're taking one more damage, or one less damage. Sorry, if I would have had the Sketcher jump in front of a Disciple. That's not good. So I wanted to Equinox that thing. Alright, gotta grow these bots. Make them some better blockers. Okay, Hush could be good. They buff stuff up. Hush could be good. Okay, so these two cards are crimson units. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. Mm. Let's make three three ballistic bots, which are good blockers against crimson Ready disciples. To the gun show. And crimson blood letters. My puppy dog's right down here once her belly rub, but she's just a little too far away for me to reach. I have to like reach way down here. Oh, that's messy. That's really messy. Yeah, I don't like this at all. if I use the the stun too right now yeah I guess so I don't know I say four like I it just saves four life if I use the stun too Alright, so they have <laughs> two more cards than I do, and two units in play. So, not looking great. I 
Kind of think if they play something to protect it. Okay, and then like maybe they play like a Vladimir, but I guess Vladimir kills Vi. I'm playing Vi this round. Well, obviously now you, now I don't don't have the mana for anything else, but I want it's gonna play Vi. Vi stands for violence. Okay, take take down a Brom. Be grateful, I even noticed you. <clears throat> this isn't looking great. You'll live, probably. So when you mulligan your cards, uh, you're opening four. Is there a 0% chance that those four cards go back in your hand, like each one? Like you can't possibly get it again? These Crimson Curators just wrecked me. Because like all of these Crimson Aristocrats were made by the Crimson Curators. And they're just they just made a whole bunch of two mana units that were pretty big and were able to go wide. Crimson Curator owned this game. Okay, they go back in the pool and you can get them again. Okay, so then it won't. So then it wouldn't be a twenty percent chance of one card if you mulligan, because then you're not seeing. Um, you know, it'd be like. Yeah, it wouldn't be a twenty percent chance because it'd be like four out of. You have like four out of forty, and then four out of forty again. It's, it doesn't add up to be a twenty percent chance. If they if you couldn't draw them again, then it would be, you know, then you're looking at eight out of forty cards, and then it would be. 20%. But it kind of overlaps a little bit. Okay. So I guess we're going Eclipse Dragon again. I'm going to want to attack with the Eclipse Dragon. we got to put pressure on them. Try to understand. Dang. They got really lucky with their Crimson, Crimson Curators. How do they just create four of these things? And none of like the you know expensive five mana cards or anything like that. I I think this Crimson Aristocratic card's good, but uh, Alright, well let's attack like this, I guess. I don't want to use a hush right now. Oh, I don't have the mana for new buy. I'm gonna say that that allows me to play new buy, but I don't. Have new buy. Yeah, great card. Um, deal one to an ally and an enemy four times. So like this is like if I kill there and if I kill this thing, it still does the damage to my eclipse dragon. So it doesn't killing that doesn't help. But I can I guess kill this right now. Just because, you know, maybe I need that mana. And no, I didn't hush because then it, you know, just allows me to play the other vine. I'm gonna need to hush this Bloodseeker that's all overwhelm and stuff. Like right now. Going to one, and gotta hope it stays that way. We're not dead yet. Tilt over enforcer on the scene. Not dead yet. Oh, Nightfall, Nightfall draw card. I guess we can get... Uh, we can get a gem. Hmm. Oh, this is so bad. 
See, this card was the draw two dragons. I guess I shouldn't have played the Mountain Goat, I guess. But when there's like a really in soul that costs 10. I was hoping, you know, like without that pump spell, I was hoping that the Vi would stay alive and then I would gem the Vi and then pill cascade and draw a card. We need to draw a hush. There's that aftershock. Okay, so yeah, I had I had, I had the chance to nightfall an eclipse dragon and I didn't. Okay, yeah, that was a that was then a mistake. Yeah, that I guess that was a mistake then if I, I could have nightfalled an eclipse, I would have had to use just like the removal spell first. All right, so I only ended up going two and three there with the Vi Aurelian Soul deck. A little disappointing, um, but uh, yeah, just kind of you know really ran out of cards there um, in that one, and ran out of cards in in our other game too. I, I don't know. I, I talked about this beforehand, and from playing these games, didn't really change my opinion. I, I would really recommend taking out one. I obviously like that very last that very last turn was just like a you know an anomaly with Pale Cascade. Pale Cascade is usually pretty awesome. Like I, I like Pale Cascade a lot. Um, I play Pale Cascade in in all my Targon decks. I, I have one, but I usually have like one copy. Right, um, it's very good. But I think with this deck, and and so like Dragon's Clutch is also a card that I don't put like even in most of my Dragon decks. Um, but I think specifically with this deck of playing three death rays, I would recommend playing one dragon's clutch with the death rays to get a draw two, um, to get a, a good three mana draw two to just get that because this can clog up your draws. Um, I, I think that that's what we should do. And, and I, I like pill cascade, but I think it's just fine as a one of, and so that's something I would recommend. Um, I understand Goomba, if you want to play your two pill cascades and you know, you said you played clutch before. Um, but I, I would still, I would recommend playing Clutch. Um, besides that, you know, I could, could play just another Invoke card. If you don't want to play Clutch, you can always play more Invoke cards. Um, but I, I think the two Pill Cascades is a little heavy on that, honestly. I just don't, like, Solar Priestess is amazing, right? Like, you can get another Solar Priestess in instead. Um, that's also another option. Also, Iterative Improvement, another option. That's that's a card that always performs very, very highly and goes great with Ballistic Bot, but also just goes very good with just a different Invoke cards and everything like that, and some Dredger, and different Dragons that you hit, and Celestial cards that you hit, you know, like getting extra copies of that. So I think that's, that's another card that if you don't like the Dragon's Clutch, Iterative Improvement usually performs super, super well. Um, so yeah, so those are just some different options there. I, um, besides that, everything else felt pretty good. I've, I've never been a huge Sunforger fan, but Sunforger was just fine. I don't, I've always played, um, the other card myself, uh, this card, the Fangs. The Sunforger was just fine, but, so that's, that's something to think about. I've always liked the Fangs with the different Celestials more. Um, and then Permanent life steal instead of just one round because you have to like you have to set up the sun forger and it can be awkward at times and then you like hold it in your hand instead of like playing something uh and, you know it can be it can be awkward at times but so that's something to think about all right but there we go that was vi aurelian soul i think that uh just death ray uh, one thing that i i am very interested in is death ray with aurelian soul i think that's actually i think that works pretty well because the aurelian soul decks usually you know like you you just want to try to stay alive and get to aurelian soul and i think death ray does a really good job of surviving in the early game 
Um, so I think that is pretty interesting of like an, an interesting way to play PNZ and Targon together. All right, but that's going to be it here for Vi, Aurelian and Soul. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments about those different cards that we talked about or anything else about the deck. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.